Hello and welcome back to Lord Fenton Gaming Plays Final Fantasy 7 Rebirth. I'm your host Lord Fenton. In this Final Fantasy 7 Rebirth video guide, we're doing the last two side quests in chapter 12, aka last two in the game. As always, like, comment, and subscribe to my channel for more Final Fantasy 7 Rebirth video guides like this. Do not forget to hit that notification bell so it'll be updated and much more. Now, uh, first of all, you want to be able to do this before starting chapter 13. You start chapter 13, you have to point of no return in the game, so don't do that. Second, the Gold Cup or Bus. You want to make sure you finish the previous two Chocobo Races tiers, so uh, this way you get the equipment in order to beat the Gold Cup. It's not too hard. As for Can't Stop, Won't Stop, you got to do all the side quests in the game. And I want you to do that. You get this side quest. You got to be good at the mini games. You can restart them over and over again until you win each section of the mini games. I'm going to go ahead and start with the first side quest in the video. I'll be back after the last one is done. Hey Cloud, got some news. Apparently the powers that be like what we have to offer. Gave us permission to race in the Gold Cup. So I went and signed you up as soon as I could. After all, you're the best jockey I know. The Cup is three races, and you get points based on where you place in each. Bird with the most at the end wins. But the races are nothing like you've ever seen before. Gotta be on the ball if you want to take the top spot. Anyway, when you're ready to face off against the finest riders this side of the continent, head on over to registration. Strife, we're all looking forward to seeing you in action again. I can't believe it. This is really happening. We're about to race in the Gold Cup. Oh, hell. I can't tell you how long I've been waiting for this moment. We made it! <laughs> Rain it in. Couldn't even if I wanted. Okay, Cloud. Your bird's ready and raring to go. All that's left is... <sighs> Cheek. If that ain't the stupidest. Obviously, some sore losers are trying to raise a stink. We'd best nip this thing in the bud. You tell them the reason we keep winning is because we know how to take care of our birds. Long time no see, Merc. And Miss Tifa, too. Should have told me you were dropping by. Would have given you the royal treatment. Oh, hey, Sam. <laughs> Gotta say, I was surprised to see your name on the jockey list. What sparked your interest in bird racing? This and that. Fell into it, did you? Well, you're a natural. Not just anybody can break my ace of streak. <laughs> that was just a practice race. My official record is still pristine. This is the Gold Cup. The contest for which Hyperion and I have trained non-stop. You got the drop on us before, but you won't get lucky twice. Now we're talking. You two are gonna give the people a race to remember. You're... Billy. 
I work on Bill's ranch. You might remember my parents, Will and Clara, since you killed them. Did I? Don't play dumb. You were mad their business was eating into your profits. So you got them addicted to gambling. It was all part of your grand plan. Hmm. <laughs> Wouldn't say the story is that simple. But the truth can be one bitter drink. And you ain't nowhere near old enough to keep it down. I ain't just some stupid kid. And I'll prove it to you. If my man here wins the gold cup, that's proof I'm old enough to hear your truth. You're on. Piddly little ranch like yours ain't got a chance. But best of luck to y'all. Sure about this? Pressure's on now. Yeah, well... All I gotta do is win it all, right? Hello and welcome, ladies and gentlemen, to the Gold Saucers Chocobo Racetrack, which today plays host to racing's biggest competition, the Gold Cup. Over three grueling races, our contenders will push themselves to the limit. The world is watching with bated breath as the best of the best take their places for what will surely be one heck of a race. Fan favorite Joe will be riding the Chocobo Hyperion for Sam's delivery service. And given his track record, many expect a decorated champion to be first across the finish line. All right, folks, our contenders are ready. Every gate is occupied, so this is it. The moment you've been waiting for, the Gold Cup.
hope you're ready for more, ladies and gentlemen. Because we're just getting started. Here comes our next race. This is turning into one heated tournament, folks. But who will be riding home with the gold cup? Only one more race remains in this exciting event. Let's see who comes out on top.
goes to none other than Cloud Strife and Bill Chocobo Ranch. He's taken three races in a row in an unprecedented, flawless victory. No one saw this snake in the grasslands coming, and now the racing world is sure to remember his name. <laughs> Yeah, I know. Mind letting me breathe? <laughs> nice riding. Thanks. There's a streak running bastard. You stole the title right out from under my nose. Well, Hyperion didn't make it easy. <laughs> I'd hope not. Mighty fine bird you raised. He beat mine fair and square. Just tell me, what happened to my parents? I held up my end of the bargain. Now it's your turn. <sighs> Son, do you know what kind of business your parents were trying to break into after they got their ranch up and running? Wild Chocobo Conservation. It's no secret that environmental changes have been hard on the birds. And what's bad for them is bad for business. Unfortunately, nobody seemed to care. Saving the planet ain't cheap, you see. Folks know somebody's got to pay for it. But they'll be damned if it's going to be them. So while everybody else turned a blind eye, one couple faced the problem head on. Your parents. They had everything they'd need. The know-how, drive, and passion. Thing is, none of that counts for much if you ain't got the gill. So they went around taking out loans left and right till they were swimming in debt which is when they ran into the meanest shark of them all. Reckon you know who. <sighs> Don Corneo. Uh, I didn't know it at the uh, time, but that sleazy son of uh, a bitch was rounding up folks and shipping yeah, them off yeah, to yeah, Shinra yeah. <laughs> for their experiments. Oh. Will and Claire figured it was the only <laughs> way they'd be able to save their business. So they signed up. <laughs> while later, Will paid me a visit, begged me to take the reins in his and Claire's stead. He wanted what was best for those birds. As did I, so I took him up on the offer and bought him out. And since then, I ain't seen either one of your parents. It was only after that I heard about Corneo's antics through the grapevine. Couldn't do a thing to stop him. Not with Shinra in the wings. That's for sure. They say anything about me? Or my sister? Not to me, no. Don't go thinking they forgot about you. You and your sister were always at the forefront of their minds. The business might have gone south, but they chose to give up their future to make sure you two could have yours. That's why you got a roof over your head, a place to work, and food to eat. I can't believe it. I've had it wrong this whole time. 
Son, I'd be surprised if there's a wild chocobo out there that doesn't owe its freedom to your mom and your dad, one way or another. Hell of a legacy to live up to, but if you want it, the business is yours. Just know this, it ain't gonna turn a profit. So unless you can find a way to fund it, you'll wind up in the same trouble as your folks. Think it over. Maybe chat with Pop Pop too. Call it. Heads or tails, son. Get it right, and I'll float you some operating capital. Thanks, but no thanks. I'm gonna do this on my own. Me and Chloe and Gramps, I mean. Hmm. <laughs> you truly are their boy. Got your old man's pig head and your mother's backbone. Not bad. I... I'm gonna do my parents proud. You'll see. It may take some time, but I'll make sure their legacy lives on. I don't get it. If Gramps knew all this, why'd he make it sound like Sam was to blame? He was probably trying to protect you, to stop you from going after Corneo or Shinra on your own. So he pinned it on Sam. Knowing that your uncle would be okay shouldering the blame. Shouldn't have to tell you this, but seeking revenge would be stupid. I know. Still, if an opportunity did happen to come along, you'd help me out, wouldn't you? Hey, I'm a world-famous jockey now. Can't be associated with that kind of stuff. Uh... <laughs> you had me going there. What a coincidence meeting you here! Taking some time off to max and relax? You're that Shinra paper pusher. You know it! <laughs> so, you're into dancing? There's nothing more freeing! After years of slaving away for the company, this white-collar worker has finally learned how to let loose and have fun! <laughs> After I put in for a leave of absence, I bid farewell to Costa del Sol and made my way to this golden paradise of delights. <laughs> I've been trying out all the attractions to help clear my mind. And before I knew it, I'd somehow racked up more high scores than I could count. Can you believe it? Now everyone's calling me the ultimate party animal. <laughs> That's certainly not a title I ever imagined earning. Speaking of... There's a campaign called the Ultimate Party Animal Challenge that's scheduled to start quite soon. The goal is to try and beat the high scores yours truly set on all the attractions. Part of the reason we're dancing here now is to advertise the event. Uh... 
You're more than welcome to get in on the fun. I've got high hopes for you, so don't let me down! <laughs> Welcome, one and all! Is anyone here bold enough to try and beat my unprecedented high score? Challengers, step forward! Yeah. 
congratulations on clearing the first challenge. You've taken your first step toward becoming a true party animal. Keep making the most of your time here at the Gold Saucer until you too reach my lofty heights. I'll gladly treat anyone to a friendly game of Queen's Blood. Though I doubt you'll stand a chance against my ultimate deck. Congrats on clearing the second challenge. You've now earned the title of Typical Party Animal. It's just a start, but I'm sure you'll continue to rise through the ranks. So don't lose that party spirit. in our way, but we mustn't waver in the... I knew you'd answer the call. ...the fight for galactic. 
Fantastic piece. Without further ado, let's see if you can top the high score set by the living legend, me, the ultimate party animal. The Space Rangers rose up in rebellion. What began as a coup d'etat? Many formidable fiends stand in all. Ready for blast off, Ranger? Countless factions. Days turned into weeks, months, and eventually years. Space Rangers, your objective is to free the enemy lines and eliminate their mothership. The fate of the universe is in your hands. Now make us proud. No other enemy contact detected. Prepare for the next wave. Enemy sighted. Attack!
trouble us no more. Your deeds this day will go down in history! Congrats on clearing the third challenge! I hereby proclaim you a renowned party animal. The people are starting to stand up and take notice. But you still have a long way to go. Don't you dare slow down now. The party must go full speed ahead. Many formidable fiends stand in our way. But we mustn't waver in the face Inside the ring, head to our entrance counter to learn more! There he is! But does he have what it takes to overcome the series of battles designed by the ultimate party animal? Keep it together. You won't regret this! Come on. 
called one death. I got your number. It's on you. I'm your one stop clobbering shop. It's on you. You're gonna pull off. Here I go. You need to kill. Do it. You won't regret this. I hope you wore layers.
take the lead. No way! Take the lead. Come on, get it together, you see. Better to be safe than sorry. How you like that, huh? No biggie. How you like this? Huh? Kill me proud. Okay, let's go. Finish him off. Allow me. Get ready. All right. All right. Let's go. If you insist. No way. Gotcha. 
Not bad. Gotcha. Call him lightning. <laughs> All right. <laughs> Just like that, okay? Congrats on clearing the fourth challenge. I hereby proclaim you an enviable party animal. Everyone's absolutely mesmerized by your merry-making moves. But you can't get complacent. You must rise ever higher until you can party in the heavens. <laughs> Been waiting for you. And now, the ultimate Chocobo Racing Showdown.
Congratulations on clearing the fifth challenge. Be proud. You're the first contestant to have made it this far. You, you alone are a magnificent party animal. Well done. However, it is still too early to name you the ultimate. And why? Because I hold that title, and there can only be one. All will be settled in a final match, you and me, in an epic 3D battle for the honor and the glory and the party! Fine by me. You're on. Very well. Then I shall be waiting for you, fellow party animal. <laughs> there you are, Cloud, the magnificent party animal. If you're ready, then let us settle once and for all who is the best of the best, the Gold Saucer's party god. Personal. Ah! You beat me, and in so doing. Prove that you are the ultimate party animal. Couldn't have asked for a better rival. I like you's wasted on Shinra. <laughs> you are too kind. All right, everyone. It's time to celebrate the coronation of our new ultimate party animal. Yeah! <laughs> Uh-huh. 
And what did they have to say? Oh. Of course. I'll be there. It seems my vacation is over. I'm needed at the office. My assistant was in tears, begging me to return. What happened to life as a party animal? I've had my fill. And someone has to stand up for my colleagues, shield them from all the politics and bureaucracy. That the Shimmer Creed? No, it's the middle manager's creed. <laughs> well then, may we meet again. Soon. After you do finish the two side quests in this video, you're done with all the side quests in the game. So you could do anything else in Chapter 12 or move on to Chapter 13 to start Endgame. This is it for my Final Fantasy 7 Rebirth Chapter 12 side quests Part 5 video guide. This is Laura Fenton signing off. Thanks for watching and have a great day or night and do please stay safe. Please subscribe to my channel for more Final Fantasy content just like this. If you like what you see, then pick my suggestion on the upper left hand corner or YouTube suggestion on the bottom left hand corner. Let's go ahead and put this monster on fire. That's that.